Now this question uh, I have taken from 2012 uh, level 2 MCA exam paper. So the question is like this. Uh, a right angle triangle OPQ, so this is triangle O, this is triangle OPQ, which is a right angle triangle, okay, uh, is drawn where O is the cent O is the origin, which is O is, uh, 0, 0, so this is O, so P is a point, okay, P is a point, uh, arbitrary point, so let's say this is X comma Y, this is X comma Y is the point, and uh, and the parabola, the equation of this parabola is y is equal to ax times x squared, ax minus x squared. So it's an upside down parabola where q is on the x axis, q is x axis. So what happened? The question is show that the maximum possible area of this triangle OPQ is going to be 2a cubed divided by 27. So you want to prove, or we want to prove, area, maximum area, is going to be 2a cube divided by 27. Now a is a constant. So basically, this is, say, this is x. So if p is an arbitrary point having a coordinate x comma y, you can understand this is x and this is your y. Okay, so the area of a triangle, so what do you know about area of a triangle? So area of any triangle, hope you know the area of a triangle is half base times height, half BH, where B is the base and H is the height. Where, so this is, let me write half as 0.5 times what is X, so what is base? Well, the base is X, and what's the height? The height is Y. Okay, so whenever you have a question of maximization, you have to use differentiation. So let me write, so this, so we can say A for area is 0.5 times X times Y. So can I write Y in terms of X? Do we have an information which tells me uh, a relation between Y and X? Well, we have it very clearly here. Y in terms of X is y is ax minus x squared. So in place of y, I can put ax, I can put this in the bracket, ax minus x squared. So now, so this is a, expanding this, so this is 0.5x times ax, so this is 0.5 times ax squared minus 0.5 x times x squared is 0.5 x cube. Okay, so yeah, this is a function of area in terms of x. So always you in difference or maximization or minimization, you will have to write an equation of whatever you have you are maximizing in terms in terms of one unknown. So I have written area of this triangle in terms of x. So now for that we'll have to differentiate this so we, we know, so let me write it, we know for maximum area, for maximum area we know the a prime or the, the derivative is going to be equal to zero. Or if you think in a graphical way this is going to be, so let's just let me first just explain this graphical. We don't know what's the value of A, but it's a negative cubic equation. So, well, the graph is going to go like this. So this is what you want to point. At this point, your gradient is zero. The gradient is zero. And this point, you're going to get the maximum area. So this is the idea that you should have very clearly. At this point, whatever that point is, at this point of X, you're going to get suppose this is area and this is x so you want to find this value of x which will give you the maximum area for this you have to differentiate this so well a prime or the derivative of a in terms of x would be 0.5 a 
0.5a times this is going to be 2x because your un your variable is x squared a is a constant so let me drag it to this side slightly minus again 0 0.5 0 0.5 times what this is going to be 3x squared so we can say a prime so 0 0.5 0 0.5 half times 2 is going to be 1 so this is ax minus 3 times 0 0.5 is 1.5 x squared and that I'm going to set equal to 0 so this implies using a bit of algebra what can you factor out well you can factor out a so if you factor out a you're going to sorry you can factor out x so inside you have a minus 1.5 x is equal to 0 so this has become a quadratic so well you can say this implies x is equal to be 0 or a minus 1.5 x is equal to 0 so this implies x is equal to 0 and when you solve this I can say a is equal to a divided by 1.5 am I right a divided by 1.5 so x is 3 over 2 a 2 over 3 sorry so this is x is 10 a over 15 I hope you understand this so x in terms of a is 2 third a so when x is 2 third a you get the maximum area okay so let me finish this off so the question is you want to find the maximum area so area what's the function of what's the formula for area area is half times a x squared so this is 0 0.5 a times 2 third a squared so let me drag it to this side minus I need more working space minus 0 0.5 times 2 third 2 third a the whole cube so a so let me change the whole thing into fraction so this is how much so this is going to be half a half a times so using rules of indices so this is going to be 4 over 9 a squared am I right 2 squared is 4 3 squared is 9 again minus half times you have to cube this so this is 8 over 27 a cubed you have to use a bit of algebra so area simplifying this so 2 so this is 4 a squared over 18 which is same as 2 a squared over 9 2 a squared over 9 minus so this is 8 a cubed divided by 54 that is same as 4 a cubed divided by 27 I hope you understand so this implies area making the common denominator what can I multiply what should I multiply here I should multiply by 3 here yeah? so this becomes 6 a squared over 27 minus sorry a cube this I made a mistake here so this should be a cube because a times a squared is a cube so this will be 6 a cube divided by 27 minus 4 a cube over 27 so finally this implies the maximum area is going to be 2 a cube over 27 now this was an excellence question at NCA level 2 exam paper 2012 so let me uh, go over this question again so basically you need to know that area of a triangle is half base times height so this is your base this is the base this is the base and this is the height and then you have to write height in terms of x where y is x y in terms of x is y is ax minus x squared 
So you have to just substitute y as ax minus x squared, uh, expand it, differentiate it, set it equal to 0, and solve uh, for the value of x. So I didn't discuss about this value. You can understand when x is 0, your area is going to be 0. Area is going to be 0. That's the minimum area. So this is going to be the maximum area. And that's why I put x is equal to a over 1.5. Now, for those who are getting confused how I got this, so this is, okay, so let me explain this. So for some of you, this may be a struggle. So, x is a divided by 1.5 is same as 3 over 2. And 3 over 2, dividing by 3 over 2 is same as multiplying by 2 thirds. So, that is why it's 2a over 3. So whichever way you understand, dividing by 1.5 is same as dividing by 3 over 2. And dividing by 3 over 2, or if you want to understand in a different way, you're multiplying by 2 thirds to get rid of this 3 halves. So x is 2a over 3, and then you have to put back in the original equation of area.